Hi, my name is Christian and tonight I'm going to tie uh, this ESL uh, strip. ESL stands for Easy Strip Legs, these ones. And it's uh, inspired by uh, Ken Heinfeld, a nice uh, friend of mine, who showed this pattern and I've uh, been uh, tying my own versions after being inspired by him. So this is the one we're going to tie, a brown version, just to show you what else you can do. Uh, could be a green one. Sands, white colored one, other version of a brown, a brown one and a sand colored one, different versions. I actually tried these in the water um, and they quite perfect in the water. Very smooth, looks, looks like a million bucks and I'm going to show you how to tie it, it's not, it's not that hard. I'm just going to, going to go over the materials and the materials for this fly is of course uh, start by the hook. The beloved uh, light stinger in size 6. A pair of uh, easy shrimp legs uh, 2.0 in uh, brown. Some uh, frill flesh. Some uh, partridge for uh, mouth parts. Just a bit of that. And of course, the new uh, extra small easy shrimp eyes. Really nice. And I make a, a blend of three different um, dubbings for this fly. The SLF uh, dubbing in the, the color ginger, mixed with a little bit of um, light, golden, light golden olive STF dub, just to get the longer fibers from the STF compared to the SLF. And for the flesh, uh, fleshy bit in the dubbing, a little bit of Salmo Supreme rainbow dub. Not much, but yeah, it's a little bit. And for the antennas, I use uh, a tan, light tan colored uh, super hair. It's nice. And uh, an orange uh, strike point made with uh, orange silver. And uh, the shrimp shell is the uh, Pro Sports Fisher uh, medium size in tan. This one, it's really, really nice. And I'm gonna cover it uh, at the end with the uh, weight set flex makes it really durable and uh, yeah flexy nice and the thread i'm using is not really i don't know if you call it the thread but it's nylon thread it's slippery as fuck but uh, it gives it makes good, a good sense on this fly so follow along and see what happens here we go okay here we go i've started by taking my little nylon thread it's from Revis and uh, take it down here in the in the back. And I'm gonna take a couple of feathers from a partridge to make the mouth parts of the shrimp. shrimp. I've uh, prepared the feather like this. I'll show you a neat trick that uh, Kenneth okay, actually showed me. He showed it for all of us. He tied this uh, shrimp uh, like this. Tied this uh, shrimp uh, at a uh, live session that uh, Daniel Hon made not long ago, and I was really inspired. It was really nice. And Kenneth, he was uh, tying the one similar to this one in just another colors, uh, and that got me to the wise as well. I think many others as well, actually. Really inspiring. Really nice. Uh, it's a weekend of nerding, fly tying and lines and rods and I loved it. Okay, here we go. Um, the tail. On top. This. Go. And then it's time for the, the silver orange one. Really love this stuff. It's, it's nice, but uh, not easy to dub uh, to dub the silver on a, an island. So I use a bit of a, a bit of wax. Makes it a little bit easier, I think. At least I think. Let's see. 
Mm. Gonna tap some of that. In front of my tail. To make a form a strike point. That was not how I wanted it. I want, I want uh, quite a lot of actually of it because I'm gonna comb it out with my dubbing brush and a little, little, little later. I've got a thick ball here now. I'm gonna go up a little bit further up this sink. I'm gonna cover a li little bit of it. This is a bit much, but I'm, no worries. I'm gonna cover it. Then I took a, a blend of um, SNF dubbing, uh, the ginger one, and some Supreme uh, dub, uh, the Salmon Supreme in rainbow dub, and the STF dub, just in some some sand color. Doesn't matter really. And I'm gonna dub a bit of that in front of the orange stuff. It's way more easier to dump with this stuff. And I'm not gonna do it just loosely because I am gonna, as I said before, comb it. this we got a thick ball down here towards the end and I'm gonna take a, a dubbing brush if I could ever find one here's one just give it a, a really good beating with the brush all the way around the hook with those fibers All long and gives this a, a lifelike and see-through transparent look of the shrimp you want. Like this. Go a little bit up at your... So, now we got a back end of the fly. Now you're gonna take your yeast shrimp legs. I have prepared them already, of course. Here they are, and I just cut out the end here. Don't, want, don't need that. And I'm gonna tie it in on this uh, on this little piece of uh, rubber, latex or whatever it is, in here. Making sure it. Like this. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm gonna go just a few times uh, around this uh, set of legs as well and tie it down. That's the legs secured. And I'm gonna go back again here. It's not very, it doesn't take very long to tie, tie this fly actually. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is a set of easy ribeyes. Extra small ones, I got this uh, orange ones. And you wanna place them on top of the, of the fly. And you're gonna place the eyes so they align with the second set of legs here. As you see, you see it here, tie it in there. Let's do that now. Around here somewhere. And 
and when I'm satisfied with the way they are looking, as I am now actually, I'm just gonna take some uh, super thin leads. Uh, the super thin stuff is really nice because it uh, really gets into the material and secures uh, both the eyes and the oh, much left here, uh, both the eyes and the legs. Enough. And just get that in there. So the, leg, the legs and the eyes are gonna stay where I want them to. Give it a, a little sap here. Now I'm gonna take the super hair. This is the light tan color, the tan or something. I'm gonna grab a bunch of that. Uh, just so there's enough uh, to go between the eyes. It's like five centimeters or so. I'm gonna I wanna make sure it's not longer than the end of the legs here. So I'm gonna cut cut this off. And then I'm gonna tape at the end a bit so so they're not all aligned completely the same length. Just uh, pull a little bit. In. Hello. Tie that down. Could add some weight underneath the uh, down here if you wanted to. I tried that as well, uh, but it's not really necessary if you're afraid it's not it's tilting for you or going the wrong way or anything. But it, it doesn't. It, it, it rides uh, very nice in the water. Then it's time for this stuff. Pearl flesh thingy. I don't know what it's called uh, actually. Someone might know. I don't. There's so much different stuff. This one is really nice. It has a pearl greenish color. Just take any, to be honest. Could be a could be a more subtle one than this one. It's actually quite a. You can be seen from space. This one. You could take a more subtle color than than this one. And I'm gonna have one uh, going backwards on one side. Fast and the other one pointing backwards as, as well. And then you can take just take your thread uh, can go all the way to the eye of the of the fly and then we are soon done. I'm gonna cut the these in not the same length, but a little longer than the fly, fly maybe. While we're at it, and uh, just for the fly tire, not for anything else, I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna color the legs, and for that I'm using my my haggle tweezers here, egg pliers, and a, some brown colors. A marker, brown, brown marker it's called, and I'm gonna take the legs and just randomly put three brown little dots or whatever, whatever you really feel like is working for you. I don't know if it's necessary, but hey, it looks good. And a fly you, you believe in and that looks good is also more likely to end up at the end of your leader. Giving it a fighting chance to catch a fish. That's one side gone, done. So the 
easy, I've got to going to lift. Could use various colours as well if you really are the artistic type. a lot we bring co the, the colors here then uh, we are all out here in the front and now we're going to take uh, some of our uh, our dubbing uh, and uh, make a cone shape we are we want to make a cone shape uh, uh, stream so not so much material up here and then adding more and more as we go uh, backwards or whatever you call it the other way see a little bit up here and then we add some more just want to have a nice nice taper of the fly and up here behind the last set of eyes I'm gonna uh, legs I'm gonna Carefully, without tying down the legs, going this way as well. That's what I'm doing. Going this way. Another one. So we have enough material up here as well. Be a little bit uh, careful with the thread around these uh, these legs because if you're if you're not careful, they're gonna point in every freaking direction of the of the world, and that's not what you're really interested in. There we go. I don't have to do. Anyway, no. uh, then you're gonna take uh, this. And this is the medium size Pro Sport Fisher 10 colored shrimp shell. It's a nice color to it, and uh, like this. it's a nice color to it, and uh, quite doable actually. Especially when you get a bit, a bit of uh, uh, red, red set, uh, UV resin on them. And then you're gonna. I'm gonna place it on top here. I want it. Just work your way down with the with the thread. It may look a bit crazy right now, but with the eyes and the eyes and the legs can like fold a bit together, but uh, we're gonna fix that in a minute. Let's go forward and try not to catch too much material on your way down. Down here, we're just gonna, gonna finish it. Before we, do, we apply the UV resin, which is the last things to do, I'm gonna just flip it over and take my tweezers again. Just go fucking crazy. This. Now you get a really nice uh, uh, what's it called? F 
form of the fly is really nice. Uh, the rest is up to to this stuff. And it, uh, then this is the red sap, uh, the flex one. Flexible uh, UV resin, that's uh, really nice. I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of, of that uh, on top of my shrimp's shell. Sure to cover everything, but not overdoing it. When I'm I just take a needle here and sure it's everywhere, and there's no air bubbles in it or anything. But when you're satisfied with that, I'm just gonna take all my super hair in the back and pull straight up. Make sure to pull straight up and set it. This won't make the, uh, the, the shrimp shell stay up uh, because it's a flexible one, but we'll do a little bit. And it will really, really make the strengthen the shrimp shell, shrimp shell and make it more doable, as I said before. And that's about it. Could just trim it a bit more, but uh, I think you get the picture. Really, really many ways to uh, make different uh, types of this one with uh, just adding other colors and other types of colors of uh, super hair and uh, whatever you like hope you enjoyed the movie and will subscribe and give it a comment and wait for more see you later bye bye